Hello everyone, this is Drist, playing Shroud of the Avatar, spiritual successor to Ultima Online. And before I get started, don't forget to subscribe, there's a link in the bottom of the screen, so click that link. And if you like what you're seeing, give me those thumbs up, and don't forget to comment in that comment section. So, today, I'm done with the Courage Quest, and in, in between the Courage Quest and the next one will be the Truth Quest. So I'm going to do a little side quest here, just for shits and giggles, and we are in Adorus, and... So I'm gonna go find me a side quest real quick. I think I know where one or two are at and pick those up and do it real quick So before I do I'm gonna swing by the Oracle here and see if I can't collect my money from him So this will just be a quick little side trip into uh, the Oracle's area All right, we'll talk to this fella here And he says, Welcome, Sir Diggle. I see you have taken your first steps on the path of truth. This will ultimately uh, lead you to the Titan Boreas, and you will learn that truth can be a source of great strength and great terror, both for humanity and those not of your species. Your destiny awaits, and I am here to guide you. So, little does the uh, Oracle know that I have sort of started the truth quest, but not really. So, but we won't tell him that. Anyways, we are going to say, we are going to do our test here. So, Mr. Oracle, sir, I would like to take a test, please. I would like to take the test. I have observed your actions while walking along the path of courage. Do you feel your actions demonstrate how to live according to the virtue of courage? Simply respond, yes I do, or no I do not. Well, Mr. Oracle, sir, I do believe I have demonstrated that. Observations confirmed. You are following the path of courage. Sir Jiggle, here is a small reward. Please return tomorrow if you would like to take this test again. Well, thank you, Sir Oracle, and you have a great day. All right, there we go. Got my daily gold and 500. Not much, but something there. And we are going to go find ourselves a mini quest. So let's see what we can find out here. And I saw this little child walking along around here. I wonder if he's a quest person. Oh, there's a bunch of more citizens now. I was in here the other day and one of them was actually glowing at me. Sparklies, meaning he had a quest for me. I don't see any of that now, but I wonder if that means that because there's none available. Huh. Where's that child? Hmm. Gotta find a quick low quest. Where is that child? That child alone. I'm, I bet you he has a quest for me. Alright, let's talk to this young lady here. Maybe she will have something for us. <clears throat> Hello, citizen. My name is uh, Shertugal. Can I be of assistance to you? Hello, Outlander. I hope you are enjoying your visit to Adorus. Please don't think me presumptuous, but I heard that Outlanders are often willing to help those in need. Why, yes, ma'am. I am most definitely willing to help those in need. Do you, by chance, need some help? If you are who you appear to be, maybe you could find out who killed my son. It is the only way the, si the children will be safe. 
Oh my god, did you say your son was killed? Yes, I will most definitely help you, ma'am. Tell me about your son. Have you figured out who killed my son? Well, you need to uh, tell me a little bit about your son first, ma'am, before I can tell you who killed him. Yes, by an archer who targets the helpless from above. That is why you will find no child alone on the streets. They have all been hidden away for their own safety. Okay, well, that's so much you're giving me to go on, ma'am, but I will definitely do what I can. Let's see if I, I can think of anything else to ask you here. Oh, above, you say? So maybe the person is above? I didn't see what happened, of course, and as soon as I realized, well, I was more worried about getting my son, but Sammy over there, he said it looked like it came from high above the square. Oh, Samuel, huh? So maybe I should go talk to Samuel. Well, thank you, ma'am. You have a great day. Uh, maybe you can tell me uh, before I go, where is Samuel? Who is Samuel? The farmer. He should be able to tell you more. He saw the attack. I just can't... I can't relive that day again. Okay, ma'am. I'll go find Samuel. I will find out what happened to your son. Alright, so it looks like we got ourselves a quest here. <clears throat> we need to find out what happened to her son. And we need to go find Samuel. And I'm going to read my journal real quick. <clears throat> Tanya's son was killed on the steps next to the marketplace, but she did not see how it happened. However, one of the merchants, a farmer named Samuel, saw what happened. So let's go talk to Samuel the merchant, the farmer merchant, and that would be over here. Boy, they are noisy on that in that square. All the groans and grunts and stuff. <laughs> uh, where's uh, the farmer? Looking for this uh, farmer. There's my Samuel. Let's talk to Samuel and see. Maybe he can help us. <clears throat> Come here, sir, uh, sir farmer. Samuel, can I speak to you for a moment? Good day, I'm Samuel Redstone. Some fresh goods for your table today, sir? Um, no goods, but maybe I can ask you a question or two about um, an attack that happened earlier. Um, about some children being under attack from above. Maybe you can tell me a little something about that. Uh, folks used to bring their kids to the market. Now I don't think you'd see even one if you were looking from up in one of those towers. Oh really? Is there something about those towers? Tell me about the towers. Only the guards are allowed access to the towers, so I must have been seeing things. The arrow couldn't have come from there, right? I don't know, but what's this arrow you're speaking of? I thought at first it was a bird but it was going too fast. Went right through the poor kid. Looked like it came from that tower over there, but it couldn't have. Okay, sir, well thank you for the information. You've been quite helpful here. And before I go, I'm gonna backtrack on this thing here. He says, the tower that overlooks the market is only supposed to be used by the guards. Could the Black Arrow Archer be a guard? Hmm. And it says, I should visit the tower that overlooks the market and see if I can see both the docks and the market from there. If I can, the tower may be the Black Arrow Arches Perch. Oh. All right, so we have a plan. So, Farewell, Samuel. Next time you are craving delectable food, please come again. I will most definitely do that, sir. Have a great day. Hmm. All right, the tower that overlooks this place. Hmm. That would be... I don't see a tower that overlooks this place. 
I see a bunch of houses that... <clears throat> um. Are those considered towers? Hmm. Oh, are you grunting too? Oh, wait a minute. I see some towers. <coughs> There's some towers. What's this? I have a, a, a longbow sitting there. And there's some arrows here. But nothing else seems to be triggering anything. I do believe that's the market there, though. <clears throat> huh. Let's go to the other tower. I wonder if I come in from the other way. Onto something here. What's this? More arrows. <coughs> oh, what's this? To Rolf of the Ar uh, Ardoris City Guard from uh, Kugel, captain of the Ardoris City Guard, I regret to inform you that we are recalling you from your post in Soul Town and saddened to inform you of the untimely death of your son. The death has been found to be accidental. Further details will be provided upon your timely return. My condolences for your loss. Oh. So. Somebody got re uh, came back from Soul Town because they lost their son, and it was accidental. What's this? So supervise bold little Jen, Tanya, sweet boy Taylor, Simone's love ya daughter Scarlet. Oh, I think we found our hideout. So what do I do? What do I do? What do I do?
What is the name of the person that, uh... To Rolf. I'm looking for Rolf of the Adore City Guards. That's who I'm looking for. Rolf. Yeah, this guy is definitely our uh, culprit here. Doors locked. Yep, doors locked. I still can't go back that way. Uh, guard. Are you Rolf? Sir, tell me your name, please. Aha! My name is Rolf. Rolf, just the person I wanted to speak to. Tell me, sir. Tell me about this thing called the Black Arrow. I char my weapons over a hot flame and the soot turns them black and it makes them even stronger in battle. <clears throat> this sword, it'll take a head clean off in one sling and blacken arrows while they fly straighter, farther, faster. Plus, they pack more of a punch. I've seen them go straight through someone. Oh, really? 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 Straight through someone, huh? Are you uh, bragging about something maybe? Battle, huh? Have you seen a lot of battle? I was stationed out at Sullis Ridge, but was called back before the battle. Personal matter, I shouldn't stay, and I should have stayed and ended up worm food, though. Well, you know, you were called back. Why were you called back? You've heard people talking, huh? Yeah, my son fell into the channel and died. Prolo called me back so I could attend to matters. Too personal to talk about with a stranger, though. Oh yeah, your son, huh? My son should still be alive. I find it incredulous that no one heard him fall into the water. That no one heard his cries for help. That no one had the decency to save him. But since I got back, I've been watching, and these so-called loving parents don't even attend to their own children. They don't deserve to have children. Oh, really? Uh, the children, huh? Tell me about the children. It was only a matter of time before something horrible happened. Leaving them all alone like that, parents are supposed to protect their children from harm, but there for them, be there for them, and maybe if they had been, they would still be alive. You are piquing my interest there, buddy. Tell me some more. How about you tell me about these parents? Yeah, the people who killed my son, these so-called parents killed their own kids before they were because they were too busy to watch over them. Oh my god, you said they killed their own kids? <laughs> you think I killed someone? Is that it? Is that what you are accusing me of? What evidence do you have? If you wish to accuse Gargolf of being the Black Arrow Archer, type accuse. I, sir, accuse you of being the Black Arrow Archer. You're right. I did it. I killed those kids. Those people, the ones who were too busy to watch over their own children, they're no better than I was. 
If I had been watching over my son instead of off fighting at Solace Bridge, he'd still be alive. And if they had been watching over their kids, they'd still be alive too. None of us deserve to be parents. And because of me, people are watching their kids again. Because of me, they are being sa kept safe. They should thank me. Okay, buddy. I do believe it's time for me to go talk to this Captain Krugel about this right away. Sir, you have a great day. All right, so we can go to go talk to Captain Krugel. Where can I find the Captain Krugel? Oh. All right, looks like we found the guard commander. I believe this will be the fellow we want to talk to, so <clears throat> let's say hi to him, shall we? Sir, sir, can I have a word with you? Hey, Outlander, you're new around here, I take it. I am Guard Captain Kugel at your service. Pleased to meet you, Commander. I am here about an issue you have. Black weapons are quite rare. I have known bandits to blacken their blades to help them uh, lurk in the shadows, and some elves do it to intimidate their enemies. Oh, and a few of my guards clear the shaft of their arrows to temper them. Yes, this is about your one of your guards, actually. It's about some children, possibly. I assure you, keeping the children of Adora safe is a top priority. Thus, I have increased patrols and encouraged parents to keep their children indoors. Well, sir, it's hard to keep the wolf out of the hen house when the wolf is one of your own. And that would be an archer. On examination, the children were each killed by a black arrow, most like the ones rumored to have been used by the Obsidian Elves. I am not sure how one could have breached our defenses, though. You're killing me, buddy. I'm trying to tell you who the person is here. Let's see. I'm going to say Samuel is not the one. Spirit Talker Doors, Outlander, Kraken. What's his name? Um. What is that guard's name? Guard Rolf, that's his name. Guard Rolf, sir, it's a Guard Rolf. Rolf confessed to killing all those kids? I would have never thought one of my men could do something like that, but he has been a bit off since he returned. I thought it was just because of his son. Thank you for getting to the bottom of this. And I received 500 gold and I made a note of this in my, uh, to tell each grieving parent. So I guess I'm not quite done with this. So I'm going to say farewell to him. Sir, farewell. Good day. And we need to go find each of the grieving parents. And I know where one is. Tanya. Okay, so uh, we are outside the shop where Simone is at. And we're supposed to inform her about her child that went missing. Or that was killed. And that we found a solution for her. So, uh, <clears throat> we're going to go in here. And we've already talked to Tanya, we've already informed her, and that assist, that conversation kind of glitched a little bit, so I don't actually have it on camera. But, you know, you go to her, you talk to her, and you get some skill development. So, let's go in here and talk to Simone. See what she has to say. Oh. I wonder if this is her. It says bookseller here. Ma'am, ma'am, can I have some word with you? 
please tell if you have found anything about my daughter? Uh, yes, ma'am. I found the killer. I most definitely found him. Turned him into, uh... Turned him into the captain. Thank you for helping to bring my daughter's killer to justice. It is a small comfort for one. I, I appreciate it. Not a problem. I appreciate anything I can do to be have helped you. Alright, so there we go. We got some skill development there. Where is my... Uh... And that's it. That is the uh, end of this quest. So, it's a quickie. Well, not so quick. If you know where everything's at, it can be a quickie. So now that you're watching the video, you know where everything's at. So, um, I will see you next on my path of truth. And until then, don't forget to subscribe. There's a uh, link in the bottom of the screen, so click that link. Get out of here, watcher. Try and talk here. And of course, if you like what you're seeing, give me a thumbs up. And don't forget to comment in the comment section. So until next time, have a great day.